What are you doing, Scooby? You rat hunting? Scooby's rat hunting. All right, work on this panhead. Customers come by today to pick it up, so I'm just putting the loose ends back together on this thing. There's a light. So, put the trump water mount bolts up in there. Put the gas tanks back on it for now. Don't have time to finish up all the other stuff. Get everything in one big spot, so it's easier to haul out. The uh, I got some time, I'm gonna try to get the generator up in there and a new regulator on it for him. I know he doesn't like working electrical, so we'll see what we can do to get things buttoned up as much as we can. The gas tanks are already pre-fitted, so it should go back on relatively easily, hopefully. Of course, we say that about everything on the bike, right? All right, so we're gonna put the tank on there now. And my wrench at. Slide don't fit very well in here. Not made for this application, that's for sure. Kickstand it down. Bolt won't start. Come on, get a piece of crap. It's in the way of my fingers in there. Threads are not happy at all. Bolts don't like going in holes. It goes in partially and then just locks up solo with a thread. Don't like it. All right, that ain't gonna work. Pull the bolt out. Find out what the hell the problem is. Can't force stuff. You don't want to go. Yeah. Problem is the gas tank's got a bunch of bone junk in the threads. I guess. So that means we got to put the tap inside the hole and clean it out. Too much crap in it. Of course, before it went right in. So there's just too much crap in this hole. The damn bolt just won't go in it. So I'm going to put a tap and die on it. I'll be back. Okay, tap the bolt goes in there nice and easy now, so got a bunch of uh, old dried up crud in there. So all cleaned up, good to go now, hopefully. Let's see if it goes on this time.
It's really amazing how soft bolts on once and won't do it twice in a row. Amazing, it bolts right in this time. Yeah, always got to screw with you a little bit. Uh, damn it. Stupid ass line fell off. Yep. That's back screwing me again. I feel like it came off while I was screwing around the back bolt. Let me take it back off again. Get one last opportunity to screw with me in here. crossover line in here. It's got late tanks on it so it's a crossover line. Stock tanks don't have that. That came out in the late 60s. Uh, all right, it's in. bolt sitting here for a week now on the floor on the racks. I knew where it was at. It's always fun. Let's see. Need some other tools here to work with too. Yeah, we'll use what I got. So this here is the crossover line right here. Right there. So this is for uh, I don't know, 65, 6, 7, somewhere they put that hose in there, I forget what year it is. I think they did it in 65. The, um, this bolt back here is when I was fighting with back here. So we cut it cleaned out. So now it's in. The gas line didn't want to fit down here because it's not the stock Peacock or anything. Because these aren't the stock tanks. So when you go to reproduction parts, things change. Okay. <coughs> the camera in the way now. Okay, so now I got to work on the uh, lower gas tank bolt down here. So I always put these in from the right side toward the left. Put the nut on this side where we can get to it, and where it's more hidden. That means you can't see it from the, when you're on the side stand. <clears throat> and just reach that hole with your finger. You have pretty good access to get to them over here like this. Now, I'm not lock tightening this because it's going to have to come back off again and do all the wiring and throttle cable and stuff like that. So we're just getting together enough for it to be travel mode. But everything's in the right spot so when the owner starts working on it, everything will be where what he needs to have on here. I'm going to grab the wrong saw here.
So I bring that down until it just lightly touches. Then I go back up to the top bolt up here. This one's more important. Now when these two are tight in the back, the tank should be up against the frame up here. See if the tank's fit. You have to watch a previous video to see how I did all that. You don't just slam these things on here and hope for the best. If you do, they're going to break and fall off, break and leak and have all kinds of problems. Blame it on the bike when actually it's the only one didn't put the damn tanks on it right. Everything has to be bent and shimmed to fit. If you don't do it, you're going to have problems. Okay. Traveling torque. That means you're almost as tight as regular torque. Who knows when they're going to back into the bikes. And you never know what they're going to do down the road, so you have to tighten stuff up. If you leave stuff half loose, you're going to have problems. <clears throat> okay, those are on there good and tight. Back up to these bolts here. Just step out of the way. Tighten the damn thing. It's got factory clearances on here, see, nice and loose. Been dry, because nobody ever lubed the damn thing. Okay, so there's the pin goes through here. Pins in the bottom of the seat here. Drop that down, you can see it. So you get your pins right here, held on this little spring right here. So your pin has a little clip groove on it. You go right to it, lines up in the hole there. Pin in, and then you put the spring down like that, and that's what holds it in. So now it can't fall out, but you got quick access to it. It all goes up and down like it's supposed to. All right, so that's another piece that's on the bike and good to go. So. Here's a raw clutch assembly. Clevis. This is a clutch pull rod. There's no clevis on the end of it. Makes it hard to put on. And there's the clevis right here over here. So it's right here. Alright, let me a few tools. I'll be back. Okay, we're back to our mouse trap here. This rod in here. Like everything else, it's all full of monkey in here. Okay, so we take our CRC and put it down on the holes here. Put it on the rod. Hopefully things will screw you a little freer now. Better. This is going in by hand now. There, yeah, I started freeing up better now. A rough work in. It's always nice when these things rotate by hand and not have to use a tool. Okay, that's up on there. Pull the derby cover off and go back here and do an adjustment. Uh, 
Find what you needed? Well, I, I found the part numbers I need. Yeah, there's Mike. Just in time to be on video. Getting the rocker to the mouth trap in here for you. I just put the gas tanks up on there for you. The fuel lines are not fit too well. Mm -hmm. You're gonna you have to go from a modern to old. There's an adapter on the carpet or on the needle seat. They also make one that goes on the fuel strainer. But I haven't had a chance to go digging for that yet, see if I have one. Quality oh. cool. makes a three uh, fitting kit, so you can put it in three different locations. So if you can put the stock fuel strainer over there and just have the hose come into it, it'll look a lot cleaner. Uh -huh. And the problem is this pet cot goes this way. It'd be better if it went straight down because oh, it slides right in. Right, this can come up underneath here or something? Yeah, the Pingle's a nice good petcock, but for this application, the hose is going to have to make a uh, sharp turn yeah, and come on yeah. down. The straight down petcock would be the way to go. And then you have to straight access right into right. the carburetor. That's kind of like a shovel head petcock, isn't it? Yeah, it's, these are light tanks. They're, right. they're not stock. So, But I got everything all fitted. I put a tap in the back hole here because right. it's all full of bungee in there. So I got that mounted. You said you watched some of the video this morning, yeah. so I had it running fairly good. I didn't get a chance to see it then, but... Oh, you didn't get to that part no. yet? No, that was like 10 videos back, I guess. Okay. The brakes are on there, they're working good. Yeah, so um, Just kind of plugging along, putting the big pieces back on it. The chain guard is missing the rubber mount and stuff for it, mm -hmm. so I can't just throw that on the right this minute. That's where I left off last night. I got the front motor mount bolts back up under there. The skid plate's missing one bolt on the back two bolts. Mm -hmm. The left one's missing. So it needs to have a quarter inch bolt stuck under there for that. Mm -hmm. It's tied up under there, but it's just not mounted all the way, you know, like, like it should be. Was that David? Yeah. Yep. Did. I know him. You know him? Seen him before? Once. Once or twice? Whoa. Coil and everything works good. The ignition works good. It started up pretty easy. Once it, once I got to start the first time, it started mm -hmm. fairly easy. But now that I got the exhaust on here, I'm going to have to start it again and see if we got time to get it kind of dialed in for the exhaust system on it. Oh, different? Well, yeah, when you put pipes on it, it runs totally different. So. It actually runs a lot better when you put the exhaust system on the bike than it's not on the bike. Okay, so I, I got a bunch of shit there, so where do you want me to put it? <coughs> that, that's crates. Just stack it in front of the car for now, I guess. Okay. Is there any kind of parking? Oh, I wasn't even parking to get in here. From no, I parked right in front of your shop. On the with, sidewalk? With, yeah, with the tree. Okay, that's fine. It's about the only open spot in the area. Right. Give me about five minutes to get this thing mounted up, yeah. and then I can come out and play what we got out there. I'm going to get this hooked up for you and kind of semi-adjust it, so I can have a make it rideable. The chain's all on. I lube the chain. Yeah, You're have to, the chain has a big stretch in it, so it's not a real good chain. Oh. So I'd recommend changing it out. Mm -hmm. You have to get a couple miles and breaking them. Right. And obviously you have to readjust the brake shoes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <After they're there. coughs> yeah, on both bikes, all that stuff's brand new. So you have to put like 50 miles on the shoes and stuff. Oh, I see. Back. I got the generator because I was going to try to put that regulator kit on there, but I don't think I'm going to have time for it. If there's else. So this is really, uh, they don't need a lot of room here, do they? Finger, so. Yeah, you can have a wrench turn each way. You can't even get a full wrench, you gotta go back and forth with a wrench. Uh, there's no room for ratchet in here either. Let's load this thing up. That's not loaded. There, it's a booby trap now. Oh, yeah. Now we're now we can break shit. Oh, now I got that like cold. Right yeah, just make sure that doesn't come back and break them off again. Get my wrist instead, huh? Yeah, that's all right. Wrists are expendable. Mendable. Is it 
just when you like it. I don't know yet. You gotta get on the frame first, and then you can oh. play around a little bit. Okay, let go. Oh, okay, it's not. We're not on the frame yet. <laughs> Thing on it. It goes to the U bolt. Just the go. Kind of work the U bolt down equally as you go. Mm -hmm. Get close to doing something. Okay, I think I grabbed now. Okay. You want this rod to be the nice flat plane? I'm trying to videotape too. I'm trying to do with a camera now like this. All right. So you want this to pull straight from here all the way up to here. And still have your clearance up here for your fuel lines. So this is about the highest we can go. Obviously, I want to make sure it does not hit our fins over here that I had to fix. So that's kind of important. Do so, you have any white cat uh, lock washers here? Whatever's in the drawer in that package is all I got. In the drawers where? In that pa in that box you're just in. Oh well, there's no uh, cad white cad plated lock okay, washers. Okay, don't have anything. Okay, I, I got eight nuts though. All right, we'll just write down the number so I can trace them out. I'll, I'll write it down on that piece of paper I gave you. Okay. Those are for the beehives I'm restoring. Oh, that's why they call it mouse trap. It looked like a mouse. Fingers. Thumb trap. You got my thumb, but it didn't hit the fin. See, it's clearing the fin. We like that. Okay, is that straight angle, or do you got to go in a little bit further? Look like this angle here. Oh, I got you. Not like this. It's straight. Does it look straight or going uh, just a little bit? Let me see here. It's straight. No, it looks like it's going right in. Right here. Right. Do I go stay here in or out? I don't know either. You have to look at it from that angle. You want everything to be parallel. All right. You look. It looks good to me. Well, like I say, it looks good. We're going with it. Looks good to me too. <laughs> we'll go with it. The position. Okay, we have good clearance here. There's a chrome cover that goes over here. It should have plenty of room. Oh, I didn't put the cover on the brake over there. You can do that later. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of halfway in the middle of but Yeah, the, uh, the cylinder was leaking quite a bit. I had to say. I've seen that. Yeah, so I put the wash in there. You shouldn't have to have the washer, but oh, I just, I'm just going to get ugly in there, double all, triple it up. I put a longer banjo in it. Mm -hmm. This is the original banjo here, which yeah. is quarter and shorter. I've seen that on the video. So this is all tight, no leaks at all. Sweet. So it all works. You, the wheel's still in here, you can spin it and see what you got. So you got all that working. Is These that zerks it? all need to be lubricated. Uh -huh. I haven't done any lubrication. Seat post is dry, sail, and bushing is not going to lose. It's in there. <laughs> did you bring all the seat springs for the 65? Because that, I couldn't do that I until did. you had all that stuff. I did. I can do that. I, I want to be okay. up late tonight playing with stuff. I got the heavy duty springs for the post itself. That's is just stripped or something. This is my latest uh, reconditioned repot. I took the the bra oh, I took the brass mm -hmm. and I put a dab of solder on it because I didn't like the way they were crushed over. Mm -hmm. Did you notice the way they were? No, well, I put a, some hot solder on them and, and then flattened it out to make them look like bigger rivets. I think they're more standard, but. So what do we anyway. to, did we bought them out? I think the U-bolt. That's for the six-inch air cleaner. I think the U-bolt bottomed out because of the uh, threads. That bolt, that U-bolt's not the right one. Must be. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna get a new nut and a washer for that. We'll get to a different thread. Okay, so I found a, uh, I found a uh, your, your stash of the. 7691 nuts for the tail the beehive tail lights I'm restoring for us. Okay. So I put it on the that paper list, but no. Sure. I'm gonna take out the 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 one that's used in the repot because what they did was they take they took nuts. What kind of beehives? And and they took nuts and welded them onto it, so that's not gonna work for oh, me. Totally missed the garbage. Yeah, we want to make sure everything lines up correctly, so yeah, I want, it, I want it, this is what I'm going to use for the repot inside. I wish I could find these. Oh, that's a nice picture. Yeah, camera's a little loose. These, but I don't know if I can find them because they're inset. Look. 
What do you mean they're inset? Well, they 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 get popped in oh, here. This has a, oh, this has a damn uh, yeah. variation down here instead of throwing it That's away. that's what's on the beehive. That's why you can't change them in the repop. So yeah. I'm taking this original and put it on the repop. Yeah, it's a special bolt. Yep. Wonder who sells those things? Uh, McMaster car maybe straight slotted like that. Mm -hmm. I doubt it. If they're made anymore. And it's quarter twenty four thread. I bet. Uh, look. It's not quarter twenty. Quarter twenty four, like I said. Yeah. Which is really going to be hard to come by. Don't put that on a repop. Keep that for original. What? That bolt. Screw. No, this whole plate is going to go on the repop cover, but I'm redoing the whole, the whole. Why are you using original parts on the repop cover? Because I'm making it look like original. Yeah, but you don't put good parts on a piece of crap. It won't be a piece of crap when I'm done. It's still a repop piece of crap. Don't do that. Don't well, waste that's my what I do is I make repops the original. Don't waste my good parts on a piece of crap. Uh, I don't really think this one is yours. I think the one you gave me was the one that's all fucked up. Yeah, Maybe I'll try to fix that one. Yeah, that'd be good. But, cool. anyway. Yeah. I hate mixing good parts with old junk parts, or new junk parts. It's always best to keep your original parts original. Nuts. All right, we'll just write it all down. I did. I put it on this thing right here. I got a bunch of hardware I didn't put in the computer yet at home, but it's at home, so. Well, here. This is what I'm, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a B-twin. That you should have ordered that pack of five. What is that? That's the gaskets. We got all the gaskets in that we ordered. I, I know, but I needed another pack. I already told you you should have ordered that pack I again. I haven't done a between order since then, though. Okay. Well, we. Okay. Well, then. we're working on that for a day then, or so. And then I, I need those special lens, lens clips too. Now. I haven't found them yet. Okay. I have one complete set, one piece from you of lens clips. Okay. Mm-hmm. Remember those two you gave me? Yeah. That completed one complete set. Mm -hmm. I have two small lens clips from you for the second set. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right? I need one more small clip. No, wait a minute. I have one of two oh, here. I have one of two small lens clips from you for the second set. I need one more small clip and the two large clips, and that's the way they're shaped. Look. What? What's that? Those are the that's that. Those are the clips. There's four clips. There's two small and one like that, and one like that for the beehives. So I have one complete set. Well, I'm not sure what I. I got a bunch of stuff I bought on eBay, but I don't know where it's at. There's well, probably something that their encounter just came in today. Some of the box came in. Okay, I'm gonna put this on your computer, okay? okay. And there's the, the the eight nuts I got for the things, okay. okay? I'll figure it out. All right, I'll let you go. And we gotta work on the 45 order to figure out get order tomorrow or Tuesday. Well, you know I'm leaving Tuesday for a week. No, I thought you just left for a week. Huh? I thought you just left for a week. No, no, no. I, I've been I have worked on the Bonanza. I finally got the fuel system working right, and then I worked on the Stearman, and then yesterday I flew small kids around all day. That were that good. are di disabled. Yeah, yeah. It's, good. it's called the Kids Challenge for Kids and or no, it's called Challenge Air for Kids and Family. Mm -hmm. So good. That's tight enough, right? It's good and tight. Good and tight. Good and tight. All right, I got to work on the V twin order, so that should be on the order list, and then uh, I got to do a call on the order. So email me over what. Numbers and parts you want. Well, give me the Harley number and I can order them up. The colony directly is the Harley part number. Okay. Doesn't matter what the kit is. Yeah. So this is what I need from you right now. Okay. Yeah, but email me over the washer list tonight and I can add it to my order because I got to do an order in the next couple of days. Call okay. me in V twin well, Don't count on that because I might have them at home. Okay. Well, whatever you whatever you send me, I'll order. Otherwise, I'm on my own. Okay. This stuff, this stuff here is there's only one B-twin and the rest of it, uh, it's, it's like this. I don't care if you get the clips from B-twin, you can just buy the clips. clips okay, get the, 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 buy clips. From the, I got a bunch of clips I've won, I just have to okay. open the box. Right. Well, I only need, I only need uh, three more to complete the second set. We only need two because one of the lenses has those special clips. Yeah, I keep ordering them, they're on my, there's a set okay. coming up on eBay today. Okay. And 
I bid 30 bucks a clip, and if I don't win, I don't win. Okay. So if you want the clips, you're going to have to pay more than 30 bucks. You have to tell me. Well, that's your tail light. That's well, not mine. There you go. That's why I'm only bidding so much. Okay, well. I figure 120 bucks for the clips is enough money. They're original. Cheap. You want original? I would. I would spend the money because that, well, that those those 30, those 30 things are clip. rare, and those the tail light. Uh, yeah, yeah. That tail light's probably older. Older than. than well, I don't think they made them a long time like that. Yeah. All right. Well, you. Yeah, I'm trying to get what I can get. Okay. I know you will. If we don't get it. We don't get it. I'm trying to work on this stuff in between. You know, everything else I'm supposed to do. Yep, I know. I know how it goes. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Alright. Alright, coming to arrest us. You know, I just put the lever up here. This doesn't quite fit the bike right, but uh, I'll have to figure that out later. Okay. Okay, now I gotta adjust this a little bit. So the mouse trap is adjusted just over center, so that means if you go just a little bit more, it pops. Okay, now I gotta adjust the rod here and the inner uh, lever. The lever's adjusted. And tripod. All right, we're getting rid of this stupid ass tripod here. There, lower it down so I can use a damn thing. Okay. Okay, I gotta adjust the center screw here on the clutch to adjust this lever where it needs to be. And then you adjust the rod right here to get the rod where it needs to be to get the right free play. So two of these will kind of work together. The, the free play up here in the lever is adjusted by the cable right here. You do that last. Now this is already pre-adjusted, so it should be close. So basically I'm just chasing the original adjustment right now. So first thing I'm gonna do is bring in the center push rod here. Adjust our lever. So this lever here moves back as you adjust this screw right here. See how it moves back? Okay, you want to go all the way back. You want to keep it kind of in an area where it belongs. I'm going to say it's probably close right there. Put this rod up here about where it sat before. Okay, you want to have some free play in the system right here. Usually there's quite a bit, like about like that much. And you lock the nut down right here. This nut has got issues. Uh, ah. Stupid ass nut. This nut's a piece of crap. A double box wrench. See, okay, so we got our free play right here, that's tight. This is backed about where it was. Go up here, we don't have hardly any free play in here, which is a little bit tight, but everything's kind of worn out, so that's about right. So, see how the clutch is not coming back up on its own, so that means we're out of adjustment. We're gonna get it to come over to the top. Got some uh, some more of this free play here. Ah, this damn kickstand keeps getting me no matter where it's at. Okay, where'd my screwdriver run off to? I'm losing everything. Okay, you pay attention to this mic. You got to adjust this yourself later. Okay. Okay, we're taking out some of the free play up in oh, here. Oh, gotcha. You got this adjustment here. And you got this adjustment here. Mm. Right now the clutch is not returning, so I'm getting it back to like we used to have it. A little extra. But we have to have free play down here. We cannot have a free play in this thing. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that'll work now. It's a little bit dry in there. So I'm gonna leave it about like that. So we only got this much free play right here. So when you pull the clutch in, see how it just doesn't want to come back. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I got you. You need some lubricant on these parts. Right, right. And it's kind of work it then, huh? Feel it. It feels gummy. Feel it up there. Feel. See how it feels a little gummy. Yeah, right there. So everything needs to get lubricated. Right. The cable all through here, all the pivot points, mm -hmm. all the pivot points mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Once it frees up and pops back like it's supposed to, right. you can probably give it a little bit more free play here. Through this one. You can do it there. You can do it right oh, up okay. here. Okay. Yeah, get one turn right here. You, just, you want to have to make sure you have free play here. Mm -hmm. If this is tight down here, you got to burn this clutch up because it's not going to be fully locked up. Mm. So you got room to play with these things a little bit. So I'm going to tighten it up one notch. Like I said, all of this stuff, all these pivot points need gotcha. to be lubed. But for now, it's working, it's working fairly good. It's doing what it's supposed to. See, it's just not quite going over center. Right. That's that last little bit, oh, I got and you. it's it's gummy. You can just you can feel mm. it. It's just gummy. Mm. I bet you a lot of that's mainly in this throttle and this cable up in here oh. through all this. Oh really? That needs to be lubed too. Oh yeah, all that stuff needs mm. to be lubed. But okay, I'm gonna leave it at that point there. Okay, so I got this tight, but I'll double check it to make sure. I want to make sure these are tight. Okay, that's tight. I'm gonna go ahead and lock down this one right here for you. Okay. This is all tight on here, so it should move up here in the frame. So we should be good on this. The lever is probably a little bit too high. It should be adjusted down a little bit, like that. Okay. Now I put this out the front because that's how this other one was. Mm. A lot of times they come up through here, just whatever the cable works best. But mm. this cable here wants to go this way for being straight. Uh -huh. So you don't want to have a bend up here in your cable. You want to go as straight as you right. can. You don't want to be forcing it like this. That, oh. that makes it stick even more. So this is probably how it should go. Now stock, they have a little clip that comes off here to hold these things. Mm. They got some stuff down here in the frames on some of the years. It looks like this bike would have the clip going up here somewhere. Mm. Maybe something holding in here. A little, one of those little round things I saw. Yeah, mm. those are for later bike, but it doesn't. You can use those little ones, stick them in here, and then bend it 90 degrees and hold it, and oh, lile it to hold it. Right. You know, it's, you, know, you, you don't want this stuff flopping around like yeah. this. You yeah. want it to stay kind of where it belongs. Yeah. You don't have room to come through here because you got this piece. Mm -hmm. And I got you a new one of these. You can replace this when you got time. It's just a lot of stuff to do yet. Your fancy mirror still kind of works. <laughs> what, you like that mirror? Yes. <laughs> custom. Custom. Yeah, the custom round one. And custom okay, go ahead and put the derby cover on for me right there. I'm going to go ahead and slip the generator back into the bike because I don't think we're going to have time to deal with it. Looks like the generator looks fairly good. Now, sometimes it's hard to get these back in here with all this crap over here because somebody put a mouse trap in here already. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really fit in there anymore. Oh, look at that, it just kind of squeezes through here. See, see that? Almost like it was made to go in that hole. Now, well, putting that regulator on is pretty straightforward, but. If you get in trouble trying to do it, uh, just, you know, send me some video, call me, whatever. I, I can run it through you. You're laughing a lot. Someone's going to have to do it over there. Yeah. I, can, I still haven't met any. you got to learn how to do your own stuff. You know that, don't yeah, you? Well, hopefully the tapes, once I review them, I'll give you some tips. Okay, where's the holes at here? Okay, you got the, the strap is in the wrong spot under there. That strap up. See the strap here has a 90 degree sticking down, it's in the wrong spot. See it's jammed in the back of the case over here. The damn thing. See how it's jammed yeah. in right over yeah. here? Mm -hmm. It's in the wrong spot. So you gotta rotate that around. It should be pointing straight down when it's installed. I know it's hard to believe, but... Is this correct or not? Just don't strip them. What do you got? Hmm? No, I was asking me, it's put the straps put on there correctly or no? No, it's just in the wrong location. Okay. Yeah, those screws strip real easy over there on the yeah. derby covers. So be very careful. Make sure you don't uh, overdo it. All right, Muscle down here we're wrap. Yeah, you can't use Tatro Torque on those things, eh? They don't appreciate that. Okay, so you rotate this down around like to here. Should be a good starting point. This strap looks homemade anyway. It's a piece of crap. 
course it's probably an aftermarket generator, it's probably why. Yeah, it's a CCI generator. See the big CC on there. Is hooked up it's under here. It's got a yeah. hook up. So they're able to jam it around and make it work. The brake line's making a big S underneath the bike. You need to make sure it's all tucked up there good and not hitting anything. I didn't have a chance to look up in there okay. officially. It felt good when it bent it all up in that spot, but it all has to be double checked a little bit just to double check everything. For some reason, the 65 parts don't fit the 58. Huh. Why? You think they would be the same, but I don't think there's any two Harleys out there the same on anything, really. I think that's the problem. Okay, see how it's almost straight up and down now? So, pretty close to where it needs to be. So now you got lots of clearance in there. Okay, now this here is the wire. That should go all the way to generator. Of course, it's not long enough to reach. You get this factory clip right here on the frame, which is really nice, but the problem is it can't reach all the way. The armature terminal on the six volt system. This is the armature terminal on the 12 volt is up here. So, this is where the battery would normally go, which would just make it it's really tight, though. But that one's different. Okay, Mike? Yes. Okay, there's supposed to be a clip that holds this uh, speedometer cable up. Oh, there. the little thin one, huh? Yeah. Okay, this is the cable that goes to the battery. Mm -hmm. It's too short to reach to here. Mm -hmm. It should go up this front terminal. Now, we're putting that, you're going to put one, that after Oh, this one right here. Yeah, this goes to the battery. Oh, I get you. So, don't hook the battery up until this is insulated. Okay. This is the idiot light switch wire which goes onto this terminal here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just going to hook this back up for you right now. Okay. So this makes this goes up to your idiot light. Here. Okay, okay, you got it. So I'll just put this up on there for you. Right. I put the other nut back on top of here so you wouldn't lose it. And that's for this guy? Yeah. Now you're going to put the aftermarket regulator on here. It's going to change how things are a little bit. Mm -hmm. Usually what happens is these two wires go to the little regulator mm -hmm. and there's another wire that comes off the regulator. So somehow you need to tie this into the horn that comes off the new regulator. And that might give you a couple inches of extra length we need to make this right. You want to obviously keep this away from here. Right. It'd be best if this went all the way underneath the motor. Okay, so this guy goes right up here then, huh? Yeah, it's supposed to be up here. Mm -hmm. This should go underneath the bike. Hmm. Down underneath, come up around here. See. <clears throat> it should go underneath the primary down through here, just like the brake oh. switch is. And come up here, come up and below. Huh. That way it's hooked out of the way. Right, right, right. Yeah, instead of being along with all the shifter so it should stuff. come up late right in here. Right just like, it just rooted just like the brake switch wires mm -hmm. underneath the bike here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let me close the lid on the camera and shut it off. So the wire is too short. It's, it's about eight inches too short to do it all that way. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. But it's just, uh, you know, it needs to be made to work right. like everything. Sure. The, I was able to stretch this, the brake switch wire, but it was really, really tight. We had to really pull on it pretty good to do it. Hmm. And then all the other stuff is up, you know, all this stuff here is still functional the way it is, mm -hmm. but it has to be hooked up, yeah, right. you know, however you had it before, mm -hmm. and the battery stuff. Right. So it should be straight, pretty straightforward on that. And then all the handlebar stuff is going to have to be, obviously, yeah. run to your dash where it needs to go. So most of the important stuff is done. Yeah. Did you spin the back wheel, see how that felt? Yeah. In fact, it's, it's pretty... Well, I can feel it binding, but the shoes still, are dragging lightly because they have to be adjusted. There's a certain place where it let, lets free. Now these are these here are eccentric, mm -hmm. so if you rotate them this way, and oh, that I way they'll you. get tighter. If you rotate them toward the center, they get looser. Mm -hmm. At least that's how I got them. Same adjusted. with this one. Yeah. Now to get to these screws, you're gonna have to have the chain guard up in the air, right, right. and you have to pull this screw out to get access with, oh, with a yeah. with the um, half inch the uh, four uh, eight point socket. Oh, you got eight point sockets. Yeah. So use those. 
Uh, this here goes here. There used to be a screw floating around here somewhere. It's in there already. Oh, okay, that's for holding this, but you can't do that until this is all. Oh, until it's actually. So, but I, this is ready to be put on here. So why don't we go ahead and do that right now while we're looking okay. at it? That's a quarter inch. Let me get a seven sixteenths for you right over here. I was gonna readjust the shoes there if they needed it, and so far they were working all right the way they are, so I didn't do it. That's not the right clamp. It's obviously way, way too big, but it works. Mm -hmm. Puts it in place, huh? Yeah. I transferred that from one of the other brake lines. I don't know which bike it was on originally, but one of the two. I haven't checked the bolt. Make sure all these bolts like this stuff here are tight. Mm -hmm. The transmission is tight. The motor's tight. I didn't go over all the other bike yet. Whatever I touch, I tighten, but I haven't touched every bolt on the bike yet. Everything's pretty much been a little bit loose. Okay, where's the crossover hose at? How did that crossover hose get way the hell up in there? That is not where that's supposed to be. There you go. Okay, well this hose is a little bit short here for your crossover. Yeah, that's okay. It's also very hard, so you know, it won't hurt yep, to be replaced. Okay. Now you can run them through the top over here if you want. Mm -hmm. I prefer running across the front because they have le they have uh, less issues. But, oh. but we do have a cable in the way here, mm -hmm. so you might, but it's easy. It probably yeah, can go just like that. Perfect like that, huh? Yeah, it just needs to be another inch mm -hmm. and a quarter longer. Mm -hmm. Hey, what the hell happened here? Well, I think the owner uh, there's a rat, <laughs> big rat. That's the one that was chasing Scooby. Yeah, see, so you got the you got that fender protector here too. <laughs> Yeah, so they were blaming Scooby for doing all this. It does look like Scooby's claws, though, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a bear claw. That rat was hungry. <laughs> but, uh, oh, well, a little touch-up paint, you'll be fine. Yeah. All right, uh, there's a distributor cover floating around over here someplace, right here. Let me put that on. Is that the key for this bike or the 65? Where's that? Right here. Oh. That might be for the 65. Yeah, we put a new... No, remember, we put a new switch on this one. Okay, then this one's for this yeah. one. Should open up. I don't want to torque it. Uh, should open up. Oh, okay. So well, that's it. The fact that the dash is bending because of a piece of crap has nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I it's put a new rubber up on this because it was all gone. So now the speedo is kind of in there. The, the cover will keep it from rattling around. The uh, there's no air cleaner for this motor. That's it. Okay, good. So don't lose that key. Yeah. The um, I put this on here right now because this distributor is really loose, mm -hmm. and it uh, it'll right, it goes full retard when the bike's running. Oh. So until you hook up the throttle kit or the spark, oh, I got you. You have to have this on there. So when you start it, you have to take this off. Mm -hmm. Retard it a little bit. Oh. Get the bike running. It's going to go full retard as soon as it starts. And that's what that retard. Right. Mm -hmm. And then you go in here and just put this hook this back in the hole right there. Uh huh. And then keeps it fully. And so you can ride it without the doubt hooked up for now. Mm -hmm. You still have to get the throttle cable hooked right, up, obviously. Right, right. But now the main jet in the carburetor needs to be taken out mm -hmm. and filled, either all the way or at least halfway. Is that that? Is that that one that was in the? This is the rebuilt carburetor. The, that that you had. Yeah. And where's the air cleaner and stuff that came with? That you? is for the J slot. This oh. is supposed to be the center screw. I got you. So yeah. the J slot was for the like the knucklehead bike you got rid of. Gotcha. So that air cleaner is worth money because of the J slot. Okay. The backing plate uh, could be used, but the the outer cover is different. Yeah. Now, if you want to put it on there, you can, but yeah. it's not right. Yeah. Right now, this is completely turned off, hmm. and it's too rich. Hmm. So, here's the fuel line. See how that goes? Oh, yeah, it's for the cox right up there. Perfect. <laughs> I'm sure that wouldn't be a problem. Well, at least now you can start it, put gas in it. Mm -hmm. So, the main jet in here is, is way too big. It's the stock size. Uh -huh. It needs to be soldered up either completely or soldered up completely and put a hole back through it. They got like a 60 or 70, I think it's like a 70 thou hole in the damn things. And it's just too big of a main jet. Hmm. So, you got to get down to like, usually I go like something around a 40, you know, 35 to 40 thou hole. And then I just use the needle here for the rest, of whatever I need. Just to crack it open a little why bit. Is that, why is that so damn tight? There it goes. Well, I closed it, but damn, it looks like it's frozen up. It doesn't need to be that tight. Okay, there's a couple clicks off of closed. So once you get that jet plugged up, then this will become functional and it'll start running. Now I had to lean the hell out of this thing to get to run without the pipes on it. Right. So when you start it up, you have to get it back in the right spot again. So the choke and everything works. You go there and pull on the choke and see it. There you go. Oh yeah. So it works 
pretty good. Oh yeah, it does. It'll take full throttle instantly. Like yeah, that. I was watching your video. So, it's, so the carburetor's pretty good. It had a little bit of a flat spot there off vital, in, uh, kind of in the mid-range area. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that's because the main jet's way too fat, oh. causing problems. You want to tighten it up right now? Yeah. Get that quarter drive ratchet wherever it ran off to. Smallest socket is always the one that works these. Smallest? Right here. There you go. I mean, seven, seven sixteenths. Tighten up a little bit, it should be fine. The valves are adjusted, the lifters came right up, unlike the 65 where we had that bad lifter. This is actually a bit quieter running than the uh, 65. The rear head is slightly noisier than the front, but they're both pretty quiet. On the 65, the it's the other way around. I think the front one makes a little bit more noise than mm -hmm. the back one, but it's probably about 15% louder on the 65 on, mm -hmm. the, on the noisy one. Mm -hmm. Of course, all that changes as they break in. You know, every bike is different how they make. This ton's got tons of clearance up under here. Mm -hmm. The other one had to beat the hell out of everything. Right, right. So the six, so the, even with these big ones on there, they it's make not a it's not having all these parts put together like this. It's what the frame is. You gotcha. You know, not all frames are equal, and every now and then you get a tight one. Yours is mm -hmm. extremely tight, and it's that was way tight, mm -hmm. and that's the tightest ever I've ever had on the you, uh, early. We still bike. got one one carburetor over there, right? That's the it's, uh, you said it's probably runnable. I'm going to need something for that 50, yeah. that 50 engine and all the little gadgets. This one's complete. And yeah. I, I, yeah. I had to take the throttle off of it because oh, that carburetor didn't have one. It had a universal on it. So here's the air cleaner piece. Oh, here's the air cleaners in here. Yeah. 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 And here's the, here's the manifold I didn't use, but I poured it out the other have, one. You have the little link, linkage to it. No, I used use all that. Oh, I used all that stuff. If we open this up, I can't do it one here. You see it all bolts on this yeah, thing here. Yeah. But it's just this is the J slot. Right. So you can put it on there. That would but work, but huh? this has a crappy air filter. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, J slot. Oh yeah. It's got that this old. This is a piece of crap. Nappy. And you have to use that with this style because it has to be compressible in order to oh, tighten down it. I gotcha. You have to be able to squeeze it to get the J slot to work. Mm -hmm. You can't have a good filter on these things. Oh, the rubber one you're talking about? The rubber Yeah, I use the uh, the Canon style air filter mm -hmm. on the sixty five. So we got a, a right. So we have this. I, I know I have a, the the right. But air you need to get cleaner. the correct air cleaner. Right, I got one at the house. Yeah. I know I do. So keep, take that with you. You got that. Okay. Uh, you got one fuel spray. There's another yeah. one. These are all the parts. I need one of the, the correct linkage for the top, eh? And that's yeah. I got. I don't know if we have one though. That was a problem. See, this is the parts. I, this is all the parts I cleaned up to rebuild, and right. so there's no throttle levers in here. They all have these universal mm -hmm. throttle ones on them. So here's another mounting bracket. Okay. That one came in uh, the kit right yeah. there. Yeah. Here's another one. This is the early version. That's the late okay, version. Okay, so on the 50 engine, I'd use that. This is the correct one, not the mm -hmm. early. Yes. <clears throat> here's an insulator gasket. Oh, here's another bracket. You know, we go through all the stuff. See what you yeah, need. That's yeah. a universal right custom made for me. Here's a new float if you need it. I don't know if you really need that or not. That drop something. Probably. Yeah, right. I don't know. I don't see it. Let's see. Let me see the float here. This here. Oh, that gasket's getting torn. Yeah, it needs to be protected, right? Oh, I think the gasket's getting protected by the float arm. That gasket's getting used. Okay, this here you don't need, you just need to float. Mm -hmm. Give me a little small screwdriver in the bucket over there. <clears throat> Should be down there somewhere. Yep, that's one. You, you said you, you don't want really to like those, right? Those, those just uh, solid ones? Yeah, because I, I seen you beating on that other one to get it. It's just when they work, they work. When they don't, they don't. It's oh, like any okay. float. It's just the, hmm. the phenolic ones have overall less problems. Mm -hmm. This one's been locked tight. I see how tight it is. Mm -hmm. Plus, this two drives a little bit too big for this. So these are slightly heavier than the phenolic ones. Hmm. So that means they uh, they want to drop a little bit mm -hmm. and stick. So you have to run them a little bit lower cool. so that they have more buoyancy to mm -hmm. them. So it just affects how things work. But uh, obviously they're not going to be, the fuel isn't going to bother me. Sure 
take one of these. <coughs> Giggle? Yeah, if you're going to use the universal throttle, you're fine. Yeah. It's just, I'll throw that away. It's just you can't use them if you need to. See, there's another stock float if you want a stock float. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. Well, you don't know what the alcohol and stuff's going to do to them. That's why I don't use oh, them. Gotcha. You know, they're, they're, it's not made for these modern fields we have mm -hmm. these days, so mm -hmm. it might eat up, it might not, depends on the material. Right. That's why I just put the new ones in there, I don't have to worry about them. So right. I would say you don't need new that one. New ones meaning the, the brass? No, yeah, the V-Twin one is, oh, it's like the ducky float, mm -hmm. it might be a ducky float, who knows. It's just V-Twin has their own. These ones are worthless because of varnish, <laughs> the alcohol leaves up the varnish. Oh yeah. And then it sinks. Oh, I can, I can see that. Then, then it, the uh, cork absorbs the fuel and it gets real heavy, doesn't work. Okay, so you think this one might be halfway That through? one should be good. Okay. I would think. Good. It all looks good. The engine. The... Here's a set of... of a new... Let me get that. Here's a set of brand new screws. Oh, for the air flow? Yes. The lock's not in here. I have... Oh, there's a lock. There's a lock in here. There's one of them. Now, this is the one for the split. Now, there's open this is the... Yeah, there's your, these are the full set. <laughs> Little pack rat. This goes underneath the throttle blade. Damn, I got a whole bunch of them in there. This goes underneath the throttle lever that keeps the thing from bouncing up and down. Oh, Ribbon. Is that one, uh, this uh, little? Yeah, they all use them when you put them oh, on the ground. Gotcha. You. Okay, but these here, the, the locks are the split. You're talking about underneath there? Yes. Mm -hmm. This goes under here. Mm -hmm. keep oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, filming. Oh, sorry. You know, this goes under here that keeps it, oh, it keeps yeah. the throttle from vibrating mm -hmm, up and down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At least that's what it's supposed to do. Right. So that goes with that, and then these here go on that. And the split lock is for the center bolt, and the one-piece lock is for the J slot like you got. Mm -hmm. So let me get the J slot here. Let's go ahead and put all the small parts inside of here. We have a nice carrying container here. Hmm. Yep. Any other small parts in there you want to donate in here? This one? Yeah. Oh, that might not fit. Huh? Yeah, 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 Okay, that's in the bag already. Okay, that's good. Yep. Okay, so all the small stuff is in this air cleaner. And this is the correct air cleaner for the 50, but... Huh, okay. You, you, know. I'll use it. you can use a split lock, too, if you want. It doesn't have to be the one piece. They're both interchangeable. And here's the other manifold. Mm -hmm. Yay. I used everything else I got used. Got it. So that's it for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so take that box with you. That yeah, goes for I'll sure. Car, that way I won't forget it. What did you right. do with my, my PayPal folder I left here? You got it still somewhere? Uh, I'm not sure where it's at right this minute. Here, All right, right, we'll be back. Okay, we got rid of the pan head. Now we got another bike, a Sportster. So... I took this in as partial payment for working the pan head, so what do we do with this pile? It's a late 80s uh, Sportster Evo. So do we sell this piece of crap, fix it, modify it, anybody want to buy it? Anybody want to pay to make a chopper out of it or bobber or... Supposed to run. He hasn't ridden it since he owned it. Looks like it's got 33,000 miles on it, so... And an Evo, it should be like brand new. I don't know if it's 1,200 and but... It should be a race bike, it's got an oil cooler on it, so... So what are your thoughts? Play with it? Sell it? Just I need more projects around here, especially Sportsters, Evos. <laughs> Who cares? But, uh, oh well, there you go. Let me know. Anyway, the panheads are out of here. Hopefully you'll send some videos of them, riding them down the road when you get some Missouri. Heading back east tonight, so... Anyway, that's the end of the panhead project. So this is what this is what's our we have to play with now. All right, that's it.